What is going on, everybody? It is good to be live. We are going to finish up this Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. Uh, live streaming, doing New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus, all the things that have to be done to wrap up uh, Platinum Trophy requirements and achievements and whatnot. So, very glad to be back at it, streaming. Um, it's been a while. It's been a couple of months, so I'm glad to be streaming again. Good to see you guys. Uh, super pumped about this. So, yeah. Ty, good to see you, man. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Um, so here we are. I just beat the game. I have not touched New Game Plus at all. We're literally in the cell, and I'm just picking up the keys. So, um, you know, going to have some fun with y'all doing this. Uh, definitely looking forward to it. And uh, I'll be narrating kind of the uh, the key aspects of what we're doing here to get, you know, requirements and whatnot taken care of. So with that being said, here we go. We just got to get out of the undead asylum here. So I'm just going to kind of rush through. And we're, we'll go from there. Ewan, what is up, man? Good to see you again. Ramon, how's it going, dude? Thank you all so much for tuning in. I know it has been a while. So I appreciate y'all joining back. Good to see everybody. So the first like real requirement that we have to do aside of just getting out of here is we're going to fight the Moonlight Butterfly because we need a second soul of the Moonlight Butterfly to uh, get a weapon later that we're going to need. So you see, yeah, we're new game plus. The enemies are scaled up with H in terms of HP and damage at the output, but we are so powerful that it doesn't really matter, at least not until we get to probably Anor Orlando is when we're going to really start to feel the increased difficulty or at least the, the increased scaling, I should say, of the of, of the enemies. Darth, what's up, man? Good to see you again. Hope all is well with you, my friend. Whoop, you ran away too fast. Do I have any opinions on the new Souls likes that uh, released recently, Lies of P and Lords of the Fallen? Um, I sure don't. I have not played either of them. But I did just put up a poll earlier today asking what you guys want to see next, and both of those games are on there. Right now, Lies of P is winning by a rather large margin, so unless something changes, that's probably going to be the next game that I play. Regrettably, the same thing. Since we've already killed the asylum demon, we get both keys. I don't have to go up there again. How many hours did that first playthrough take? Um, I haven't summed it up, but I would guess in the neighborhood of 12 to 14 hours. I mean, we could check. Uh, I think it'll uh, it'll have my play time on here. Granted, some of that was... Well, actually, for this, not much of it is idle time. Um, probably 20 minutes of it total is idle time. Let's see. 19 hours. That's higher, but I, I don't... That There's probably more idle. I may have left the game on uh, and then bef between recording episodes or something. I don't think the whole thing was 19 hours. I would guess like maybe 14 hours, but one of y'all, I, I, I have to go back and, and add up all the episode run times and granted, well, it, that might be accurate because I did do farming. I did do farming for the souvenirs of reprisal. I did do farming for the weapons and those episodes, I, I cut those up. I didn't show the real time farming. I just kind of cut to when I actually got the stuff I was farming for. So that actually probably ate up a, a good a good chunk of that runtime. Now that I think of it, because I did do all that farming. Liza P is good so far, but I paused to play Baldur's Gate. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do is, since we have the master key, and in the guide, I highly recommended getting the master key. And even if you didn't get the master key, I showed you a way, a different way to get it if you didn't start with it. So I'm assuming everybody has the master key. And I'm going to be using it to cut out significant chunks of the game. So I'm going to be able to go straight to the Moonlight Butterfly. I don't have to fight the Taurus Demon to get there. I don't have to go on the bridge with the dragon, etc. We're just going straight to New Londo. We're going to open up the gate with the key, take the elevator up, and go straight to the Butterfly. 
Unfortunately, all the bonfires that we've kindled are going to maintain their kindling in this playthrough. So none of those resources are wasted, fortunately. But we did lose all of our embers for weapon upgrades. And we did lose all of our keys. We don't have any of the keys we picked up. Uh, salutations. What is up, Jeremy? Good to see you, man. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Both of those games look good. I've heard good things. I think in general, Lies of P reviews were higher. Lords of the Fallen seems to be a bit more mixed. And to be honest, I am more interested in playing Lies of P than Lords of the Fallen. But that seems to be the, the, the current winner on the poll that I posted today. So that is most likely what's going to be happening next unless something changes. Didn't see the poll. Heard good things about both, but Lords of the Fallen does need some fixing. Even a gameplay isn't hugely affected. Yeah, I did hear there were some performance issues on PS5 for Lords of the Fallen. And I've heard there's just some overall jank. Like some of the mechanics um, where they... I, I've heard... Granted, I haven't played myself, but what I did hear is that they made it so... Um, if you get a perfect parry, apparently it drains your health or something like that. That is something that I'm not a huge fan of. The risk of the parry should be that if you miss it, you take the hit. But to get a perfect parry and that causes you to lose health, I don't know if I'm on board with that. What's up, Brock? Welcome back, dude. Good to see you tonight. Hope all is well with you, my friend. My game has crashed seven times today on Lords of the Fallen. Yeah, that's a problem. That is a problem. I don't know, uh... If I would want to put up with that. Well, let me rephrase that. I do know, and the answer is no, I don't want to put up with that. What's up, entertainment? How you doing, dude? Good to see you tonight. Just dropping to say a quick thank you for your Demon Souls walkthrough. You first let me get into Soulsborne, and now... Uh, I'm sorry, the stupid icon is covering up part of your message here. Now your wife is playing through the series for the first time. That is awesome. That's like, that's music to my ears. Sadly, uh, this is not my wife's genre. Uh, I, I, I don't, it would, it would take, it would take more than a small miracle for her to start playing these games. But that's awesome. Good for you, man. Good for your wife. So for those of you who just tuned in, I'm making my way to the Moonlight Butterfly. I need another soul of the Moonlight Butterfly. And I'm pretty much just rushing to the bosses that I need to kill. I'm not really going to fight much of anything else. I might pick up a couple soul items on the way and things like that, but... Pretty much going to be just running from boss to boss that needs to, uh, that we need to kill. Oh, it's not lighting because of the enemies back here. Well. Is he back in a way? Yeah, my bonfire should be fine now. No? Really? They're not even anywhere near my bonfire. And they're leashing. There we go. I heard it light. Why not? I'll level up. Although I am going to need to save quite a bit of souls for purchasing spells. And then at the end for all of the uh, weapons we need to, to craft. Uh, blocking makes a part of your health health bar pale, but you can recover it by hitting back. However, if you get hit first, the pale health goes away. I don't think perfect parries damage you. Okay, that still sounds weird, though. So, you perfect parry or block, and you get wither damage. 
which you get back right away as long as you hit enemies before they hit you unless you're blocking your parry again it's not too bad well i've heard okay so i've heard about the wither damage but then i've heard that like if you if you do your repost attack that it doesn't fully recover your withered health which i think if you get a parry and take damage for that and then get a perfect repost that perfect repost should fully recover your health that's just my opinion Kind of like Bloodborne. If you get a if you get a parry and you get hit in the process and get a, and then you do a visceral, you pretty much fully recover your health. That's the way it should be, in my opinion. All right, let's see if I can hit it from with this spell. Oh, that wait 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 on this one. Here we go. Okay, yeah, it does damage, but not a whole lot. But it has to hit. The thing is, the problem with this thing is it moves around a lot. There we go. Hopefully I can one cycle it rather than have to wait for it to come up two times now. Oh wow, that was really powerful. Whoa, 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 why wasn't I Estusing there? I hit square. That was almost bad. I can't be starting this off dying to the moonlight butterfly. That would be inexcusable. Oh wow, this is not as much damage as I thought I'd be doing. There we go, that's better. All right, I think I should be able to get it. Come on, one more hit. All right, perfect. All right, got the soul. And I am going to get the get the ember, because why not? I'm not going to need it for anything, but it's up here. And I think there's other stuff up here too, which is really the main reason why I'm going up here. And then I'm going to homeward bone back to the bonfire. I don't, I don't need any... Oh, the Homeward Bone. That's good. Don't need it, but I'll take it. I just love the old European feel of Lies of P. Yeah, I've heard pretty much almost universal f positive feedback for Lies of P. Problem with parries in general, Lords of the Fallen is twofold. A, a parry doesn't guarantee a critical. It only does posture damage. It can take three or four parries to open up a crit. Okay. Does recover your health. And second repost crits and lords of the fallen don't seem worth it they only do like 10 percent of the hp bar so not worth risking three or four parries per repost okay all right so now we're gonna fight the gargoyles parries are fine not overpowered but there's a really generous parry window okay at least the parry window is generous if it's going to penalize you for using it Some bosses have super telegraphed attacks, which makes it, which makes parry super nice. First boss, for example. Now, my friend uh, Greg, who some of y'all are acquainted with, he he mentioned he was having trouble with the first boss, but maybe he was just approaching it wrong. All right, Titanite Demon. I don't care enough. To fight you. Ideally, I would be able to finish New Game Plus and Plus Plus and do everything I need to do tonight, but that's all going to depend on how well this goes. I, I, I think it's doable, but we'll see. We'll see. I got to ring the first bell of awakening. And I have to purchase the spell from... Not Oscar. What's his name? Uh, the, um, Sin Absolver guy. And I'm going to get this to get my Estus Flask plus seven. Oh, come on. Yeah, I probably should up... I should probably upgrade my armor as well because I'm taking mega damage here. Come on. There we go. It's probably ill-advised, but I'm going to try to run past all these guys. There's a lot of them and the channeler. Oh, come on. Let me go. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Alright, we're gonna do this. 
Both of you. Oh, wow. Both of them followed me. All right. At least I, I, I said up front it was ill-advised. So I'll have to take it a little bit slower. Having both Boulder Knights come after me uh, like that was not ideal. I could have done that if I wasn't if I wasn't also rescuing Lotric because I, I I think I mentioned in the in the main playthrough that I wanted to do actually do all of Lotric's side quest and New Game Plus just to show what it is. Hey, did he drop a no? I don't think this guy can follow me up the stairs. Get out of here. All right, get all these guys. Oh, I should kill the channeler first. Oh no, he did follow me. Holy crap. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm being a little bit too reckless here, guys. I actually, this is my first time to permanently lose my souls. I think uh, I, in the main playthrough, I did not, I, I, I don't think there was ever a time where I didn't make it back to my souls. So, wow. And I lost nine humanity too. Oh, well. Yeah, I was not expecting that guy to follow me upstairs. I was being more careful with the, with the Balder Knights, but that, yeah, man. Wow. And all, all of this just to rescue Lawtrick. I don't even need to do that, but I, I, I just want to do it just for completion's sake. For making sure you guys can see the whole thing. Since I killed him in my first playthrough. Alright, well I guess we're going to kill this guy. He's being too much of a problem. Oh, look at that little sliver of HP. That's ridiculous. There we go. All right. And he doesn't even respawn either. I should have just killed him. I was in a hurry. I paid for it. All right, come on over here. Wow, what of those hits takes like half my health. Okay. I knew I knew, I mean, it's been a while since I've done new game plus, but I didn't realize that the uh increase in damage was that drastic. See, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to be upgrading my armor then. I won't be able to stay long tonight. Today's my B-Day and I'm going out with friends, but have a great stream. Well, thank you so much for stopping by, dude, and happy birthday. The worst part of that was losing nine humanity because I want to use the, uh, the fair lady's shortcut. And dang it, I wanted to summon Solaire too, so I, I gotta... Go back and be human again. Because I want the Sunlight Medal from Solaire, and I want the Sunlight Medal from Lawtrick, so... Actually, I should just use a Homer Bone.
And I should have enough to, by the time I get there, have enough to level up the covenant. Oh, I lost my... Yeah. All right, I'm going to go on and level up. All right, well, I, I, I really probably... I don't have enough souls to do it. Because I'd have to buy all the shards. All right, I'll do that later. And thank God, I don't have to worry about chopping off any of the boss's tails. Now that I've rescued Lawtrick, I can just run straight to the boss. I've killed the channeler who does not respawn. Let me bye. Let me bye. Thank you. So I can just run past all these goons. Goodbye. No? Alright, probably a bad idea again. Dang it. No, no, no! All right, guess I'm killing them all again. Gather round. <laughs> I mean, it is satisfying. It's just not quick. Weapon at risk, that's great. Like it was good at trying to be a Souls game, enjoyed it, but it felt a few things needed more polishing for Eliza P. It's a fair assessment. One of your favorite games of all time. That is high praise, my friend. Well, hopefully I can uh, beat the boss with a janky weapon. And the reason why I'm summoning Solaire here is to get the Sunlight Metal. Oh, I got the, got the tail chop anyway. How about that? Oh, there's a second one. Wasn't fast enough. Come on, Solaire. Take him out. There we go. But also stay alive. Oh. And dead. Thank you, sir. Sunlight metal. Awesome. Praise the sun indeed. So we need to buy the repair box as well. Go straight to bell number two. But first, we got to get the spell from old Oswald here. Green tree. I come. Uh, 
purchase item. So we need to get Karmic Justice. This is for the Miracles trophy. We skipped it on base new game. Because it was too expensive. We needed to level up. And I'm going to buy the repair box. Well. And we'll, we'll get all of it. And we'll buy, well, yeah, we'll buy the crest. Go and get you. All right, all set. Now we're going to go back down to the forest so we can loop around to Blight Town. But the sharpening stone was unneeded and a few enemies needed some difficulties tweaking, but I say it was a great game. We had a great year for those. Yeah, I've heard that uh, they released a patch recently for Liza P where they nerfed some of the bosses. Playing Lords of the Fallen also. So which, if you had to pick between the two, Jeremy, which would you like better? Actually, did I go too far? Yes, I went too far. Here we go. I do got to remember to get the sunlight metal from Lotric. We'll do that after. Uh... Way lag. Actually, no, I'm gonna do it before going down to Blight Town because I gotta I gotta get through New Londo anyways. Or down through uh, Valley of the Drakes, rather. You prefer Eliza P just because it feels more your style. And Brock, which would you prefer? Liza P or Lords of the Fallen? And I am going back to Firelink just to talk to Lawtrick to get the Sunlight Medal for him. Because we need 10 of them. We have to go back this way anyways to get to Blight Town, but literally Blight Town and Firelink are right across from each other. You don't need to pick those up again because we already have them. The boss nerfs are very welcome. I beat the bosses before the nerf, which is the exception of the last boss, but then replayed the game with the nerfs and it was really hard, but way more fair. Okay, well, that's good. Part of me wishes that I could fight the original bosses, but oh well. That's what I get for for being late to the party. But I'm okay with that. It's 
It's been a couple of reviews that Liza P is significantly harder than most Souls games, and also one person that claimed to have beat most Souls games at a bunch. A bunch each unsure if they beat lies. Okay. Lies of P has a bloodborne feel, I'd say. I've heard some people go uh, go as far as to say that it's like they, they treat it as a spiritual s a successor to Bloodborne. I refuse. I refuse to to buy into that line of thinking. No, it is not it is not I am great. It is impossible for it to be at that level. No, I will not accept that. Alright, so we got sunlight metal. Which, just a quick check on Sunlight Metals, we got seven, which means we're gonna get three more from Anne Orlando, which is gonna give us our 10. That we need. Lies is 100 times better than Lords. Yeah, Greg, I was just saying uh, that you were, were not the biggest fan of Lords of the Fallen. Good to see you, Greg. Hope you're doing well. All right, off to Blight Town. And Quaylag. We love Lords of the Fallen. Exploration is unmatched, but you'll take lies for the win. Exploration is what you hate. BS enemy placement. Only thing similar BB and lies is setting and character moves similarly. Okay. All right, I need to make sure that I don't cross the um, the branch. I don't want to cross the branch. Oh, they're following me all the way down here. Dang, dude. I also don't want to get toxined, but there's only so much you can do about that. So far, so good. Oh, dang it. There it is. I'm toxined and poisoned. That's wonderful. Where's the best spot to board the water wheel? Dad gummit. Yeah, not here. I gotta go down again. Here we go, I think. Can they still hit me from down here? Oh. Oh my gosh. Poison I don't care about. Poison. I'll take the poison. I'm going to get poisoned anyways. Bloodborne slash Sekiro like. It's not at the same level as Bloodborne, a very different game, but creator of Liza P loves Bloodborne. It's a literal love letter to Bloodborne. All right, put on the rusted iron ring. I actually like Lords of the Fall a lot more. I don't know what it is, but it just resonates with me more.
And the wither mechanic is bad design. Perfect parry 100 times in a row, and then one hit kills you. Now, Brock was saying that it wasn't that bad of a mechanic, so... I mean, is Greg... Brock, given your understanding of the of the game is is what greg is saying accurate here because that sounds very annoying very mixed reviews for lords yeah yeah lies of p was more universal praise with maybe a bad review here and there lords is definitely more mixed uh there we go The flamestone play. We'll just do steel, steel protection. Lords of, Lords of the Fallen has some intriguing mechanics in it that you like. Whoops. Well, I wasn't watching her. Is that the AOE? No, that was just a stop. Oh, there it is. Dang it. I didn't get away. Crap. That was a pretty clean fight. Couple mistakes, but nothing too horrible. All right. And I am just going to Homer Bone out of here. Actually, no, 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 I'm not. I've got to talk to Quailana, get her spells. Got to talk to Quailana. But I'm not going to talk to the fair lady yet because I, I, I want to have that homeward bone bonfire so I don't have to climb back out of here. Lords is extremely unique and does a really good job of separating itself. You love Lords. Both incredible games. Both are must plays. Now that I know how it works, I just don't try to parry, just dodge now. Yeah, that's probably what I would end up doing. I don't think it's a bad mechanic. It encourages you to be aggressive. You fight back to get your rally damage back. You just sit there, any parry, and you'll get dominated. Plot for Lords is going to be near impossible if the PvP armors are necessary. Should not be punished for perfect parries. Never. I agree. That's kind of like a sacred thing, Greg. That should never be... A perfect parry should be... You know, the, the risk is going for the parry. And you shouldn't be punished for, for executing it. Okay, so for pyromancies. Mm, I, I, I. Yes. We need a fire orb. We need great fireball. We need fire storm. We need combustion. We need 20 thousand eight hundred more souls now go hopefully I have enough soul items and you remember to use that firekeeper soul too oh this is gonna be close Oh. Yeah, we're not quite there. However, I can use 
a soul of Quaylag, because we're going to have to kill her one more time, and that'll give me... I only need two, and we're going to end up with three. Let me double check. Yeah, I need two souls of Quaylag, and we're going to end up with three, so we should be good. I can use one of these. There we go. If you don't have the souls, then just kill some enemies down here. Okay, this should get it for me. Yes, there it is. Okay, perfect. Now go. Just by. All right, got all the pyromancies, got the trophy. All right. And now Oh my gosh. I didn't ring the second bell of awakening. That was a big mistake. Don't, um... Haha. <laughs> yeah. Don't warp there. I didn't ring the second bell of awakening. Dadgummit. So I, I'm gonna have to go back down to uh, where Quaylag was. Not a huge, not a huge deal. I should have put that in my notes. I didn't, I, I just put, I, I just put kill Quaylag. I'm, for, for my new game plus plus, ring second bell. Okay, I'm not making that mistake again. Yeah, perfect parry will get staggered. When you do visceral, you do not get full health back. Is garbage. Having not played the game, that is something that would annoy me, yes. I guess you parry rarely. Only on boss fights and slow enemies. Lies of P's parry is so good and satisfying, especially compared to Lords. Well, if you're going to compare it to Bloodborne, it had better have a satisfying parry because Bloodborne's parry mechanic is literally the most satisfying of all the parry mechanics. At least in the games that I played. Yes, Lies of P's amazing game, certainly one of your favorite Souls likes. So would you, Greg, would you rank Lies of P ahead of of uh, Mortal Shell, which I believe was your previous favorite Souls-like. Perfect parry punishment is total bullcrap. You've decided that you agree. 11 out of 10 game for you. What's up, King Anthony? How you doing, dude? Welcome to the stream tonight. Not as bad as the Jailer not showing up? Yes. I did mention that in my walkthrough, Greg, that um, you had played to the Duke's archives and the Jailer, you couldn't get the key to get out. I did bring that up. Really sucks, man. What's up, Zenners? Good to see you, dude. How are you tonight? Lies of P, greater than Mortal Shell, greater than Dark Souls 2. I would not put Mortal Shell anywhere near Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2, better than... Better than Mortal Shell by a long shot. Mortal Shell was good. I would even say Mortal Shell is my favorite Souls-like. I'd put Thymesia ahead of Mortal Shell, for sure. Da -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da. I'm gonna get poisoned too. Don't fall off.
I'm just gonna heal through it. Put the ring on, it's already on. Perfect. It's almost as if I knew I was gonna have to do this again just because of my own stupidity. So that's a couple mistakes I've already made. I, I died twice, which is my first double death in this entire series. And then... I forgot to ring the second bell awaken. I, I did remember to purchase the pyromancies to my credit, but to my discredit, I forgot to I forgot to ring the bell of awakening. There's one thing that Lords of the Fallen does very right though. After each ending, the game gives you two or three sentences worth of story telling you what happened and what the ending meant. So it just pops up as like a like a note to read. Lay Monster, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well tonight, man. For the raid. Thank you so much for the raid, dude. Wow. Really appreciate it, man. Renee, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Such a tiny thing, but it feels huge. It provides a whole new level of understanding of the entire game and the factions you can side with. So are you going for all achievements, Darth, and uh, Lords of the Fallen? All right, there's second bell. Long time no see. Yes, sir. I've been, uh, well, I've been doing working on that walkthrough for, for a long time and decided to live stream the uh, New Game Plus playthrough. So good to be back at it. Now I got to go back to Sin's Fortress. I already killed the Black Knights. I already have all their weapons. Let's see if we make it through Sin's Fortress unscathed. Playing FF7 Remake for the first time. Nice, dude. I love the FF7 Remake, and I'm very much looking forward to um, to Rebirth when it comes out next year. Have you played the original FF7? Here, here New Game Plus and Lords is insane. No bonfires. Yeah, that's not cool. That's why I never played New Game Plus in Wo Long because it, it's not it's not just it's not a standard New Game Plus. It's like they they change a bunch of aspects of the gameplay to in my opinion make it harder than it needs to be. Just for the sake of like basically being a a masochist. I've watched all of your um, your ratings videos that you've been releasing, Lay Monster. I think they're good. I agree with much of it. There were some of them that I was kind of unsure about, but th those videos were those videos were good. All right, gonna rest here. Followed your guide for the last month. I must say thanks. It was very well built. Thank you so much, Jenners. Really appreciate. The kind words. I put a lot of work into this guide. My heart and soul went into it. And I tried to make sure every last little detail that needed to be covered was indeed covered. So glad that y'all enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun making it. But a lot of prep went into it. Even even before I recorded the first episode, I had to do a lot of prep just to map everything out correctly. Because there's a lot of conditional events in this game that if you mess them up, then you're kind of screwed. You're good? Well, that's good to hear, Renee. Just got to be careful. Not going to fight the Titanite demons down below. Screw those things. Oh, I can't one shot. That's your favorite game. That's right. Final Fantasy VII Remake. 
I don't know if you want to go for all achievements. This bunch require online, which I'm not keen of, and I heard a lot of grindings required for some. Yes, I did hear about the online requirement, and I am not keen on that either, man. I think that's kind of kind of BS. I mean, Demon Souls Remake did require online for uh, two of the trophies, I think, but it was very easy requirements. Like, you had to invade once, and you had to co-op once, but it was very low maintenance, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't like the idea of large-scale online required. Let me make sure I don't get run over here. That only did 72 damage to him. That should do way more than that. There you go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, snap. That hit me. Oh, he came he came in here too. That's not cool. I didn't know he followed you. Normally I just kill him. New game plus lords of the fallen is probably the most painful feature. You only have one main bonfire, then you can use seeding to plant others, but you can only have one seeding bonfire at a time. Is New Game Plus required for any trophies? That does not sound fun. You can save scum for different endings. Or can you save scum for different endings? Sounds like you can save scum. New Game Plus, Lords, you can only have two bonfires. Max at any given time, one of them you can change location of. Okay. Your favorite was FF7 Dirge of Cerberus. I never played Dirge of Cerberus. Oh, you gotta run past all of those. That's right. I almost screwed that up. Oh, hello. coming up behind me. Want to play through FS7 Remake before Rebirth drops? Yes, absolutely. That would be a good idea. I'm so hyped for, for Rebirth, though. Rebirth is going to be amazing. Kill him. There we go. Got to run by two and two here. There we go. And there we go. Perfect. Get my bonfire. One requires a drastically different playthrough than the other two endings, and even each ending unlocks a new player class. I think at least two playthroughs to see it all. Wow. I have to kill Gwyn, but Plin Plin Plon. Not sure if NG Plus is required. I think it is, but don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I gotta say, based on what you guys are saying about Lords of the Fallen, I'm not sure if it's gonna be my kind of game. I, 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 I really have my doubts about it. There we go. Lords of the Fallen slash Lies of P win. Um, well, I put a, I put a poll on my channel. Both of those games are on there. It seems that uh, Lords of the Fallen by far, or rather Lies of P by far is the favorite. So 
So that'll most likely be next. Barring anything unforeseen. Can can you buy a physical copy of, of Lies of P or is it download only? Hoping that after rebirth you can get a remake of Dirge. Yeah, I feel like that would be the only one they haven't remade since they did remake Crisis Core. And the first time I'd ever played Crisis Core was, in fact, the remake. How much health you got? Do you think I'll do DS2 this year? It's, I don't know why I'm doing a gesture. I didn't, I don't know, whatever. Um, it's possible if it happened, it would be, it really depends on when slash if Shadow of the Erd Tree is announced. If it were to happen, it would be late this year into early next year, if I could squeeze it in. Come on over here, buddy. No foul. Technically, I can also sell one core of an iron golem or, or consume one core of an iron golem because I'm going to end up with three of those as well. And I really do not need this ring anymore. Does me no good. I'm actually going to equip the Ring of Fog because that'll help me in the Black or the Silver Knight Archer area. The game does have trophies for getting all weapons armors, which I think requires New Game Plus, but need to find out more. Yeah, that sounds like a pain. Crap! I have to, uh, well, I can do that after I, I can warp. Never mind. Because I gotta go back to the Firekeeper cell to, um, get the thing that you used to invade Lawtrick for his quest. But I can do that after I, I kill Ornstein and Smo. Greg, did you end up getting the plat for lies? I ended up getting it. It wasn't too bad. Before I link the last bonfire, is there a secret ending? There are two endings. There's one if you link the bonfire, and then one if you walk out the room without linking the bonfire. Well, welcome if you exit if you walk. Alright, I can I can let you live this time, but I do want you to there we go. Thank you. And I'm gonna upgrade my armor with what I can. Let's see, I'll do my uh silver knight armor first. Part of me just wants to go full Havel, but I'll resist the urge. Oh, this is Twinkling Titanite. I can easily upgrade this.
So I think that's maxed out, right? What is it? That is that at plus five now? Yeah. Whoops. Leave that on. I just want to see what the stats are now. Yeah, that's pretty pretty hefty. Do the helmet next. Oh, and I need a, I need a slab for it too. By the way, if you need another slab, go back to the Asylum Demon, kill the Stray Demon, and you will guaranteed get a slab. Okay. That should give me a bit more defense here. Let's see. I'm at 294 now. That's that is. I was like low 200s, I believe, before I upgraded anything. So that's 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 like a 50% boost. And actually, I'm gonna level up on here. But I mean, do I have to be human for the last summon for a different ending? No, you don't have to be human for either of the endings. Flat for lies wasn't too bad. NG plus was fun, especially the last optional boss. Really had to learn how to parry him. Even started a third playthrough after platinum. Well, if there was ever an endorsement for how good a game is, then um, doing a playthrough after getting the plat would be high praise. Lords of the Fallen has much better graphics on 4090, but I like Lies of P as a game more. PS5 Master Race. Yeah, no problems, Enters. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go this way. use pyromancy on the ones up on the rafters and it's done now what i need for that first ng i see miracles are missing and i will guess all bosses again so you need three souls of sif you need two souls of quaylag two iron golem souls two souls of gwen so that three souls of sif is what forces you into new game plus plus and then since you need three souls of sif you need to make it to the uh giant blacksmith in anor Orlando. Sucks. Um, you need to make it to the giant blacksmith in Anor Orlando with those three souls to craft the boss weapons from Sif's souls. So you do need to. It does require three. Two and a, it requires two and a half playthroughs. Basically, you got to get to Anor Orlando on your new game plus plus at least and kill Sif at least on that new game plus plus. So new game plus plus, you got to ring both bells of awakening. And then get to Anor Orlando and kill Sif. Just tore through the RE4 Separate Ways remake on Professional in one hour, 38 minutes. No rockets. Dang, dude. Yeah, I have not played Separate Ways yet. I need to make sure that I kill Orenstein first on this playthrough because you need one soul of Orenstein and one soul of Smo. So whichever one you killed first on your base new game, you have to kill set. You have you have to kill the other one first on your new game plus. That's another thing I need to point out, Zinners, to make sure you're aware of. I could go on and fight Gwendolyn. I don't want to turn in Orlando dark yet though, so I'll wait on that. I'll fight him after Orenstein and Smo. I'll, I'll actually I'm gonna fight him after I kill Lawtrick. 
Because I don't know if killing Gwendolyn early prevents you from doing that. So I'll kill Gwendolyn after I after I get um after I finish Logic's quest. Are there separate trophies uh, for separate ways? I'd imagine so. I know these twin are my nightmare in this game. Fair enough. All right, I got to bump it up one, I think. Yeah. Oh, you got away. I trying to stun lock him, but... Has new trophies, okay. However, <laughs> oh man. Crap. So, Manus of the Abyss is one of your top five worst from so software bosses? Why is that? He was in my in my original New Game Plus playthrough from you know way back in the day. He was by far the hardest boss for me in my in my New Game Plus. And I'm not I'm not doing the DLC as part of this because it's not needed at all. about the same as the first game okay yeah I already noticed they're not firing at me by now they would be if I wasn't wearing this ring so it's helping we'll see how much it helps nope now they're now they're shooting at me so Woo, made it it out. Oh, the parry doesn't kill him. But we made it through. I'll take the extra 50 defense boost as well. camera mostly in a spell mechanic well if you get the silver pendant then the spells are not nearly as bad I already passed the spot didn't I here it is All right, Brock will be back in a bit. Well, we should be here for a while, so. Yeah, I can't imagine that fight without the pendant. Well, my first playthrough, I didn't even know about the pendant. And I did kill him in base new game and new game plus without the pendant. I don't need to drop down. But it sucked. It really sucked.
three hits for these things. Well, I wasn't two-handing, that's why. Ow. I really should beef up that bonfire to 20. So I'm going to do that too. Oh, that was a chunk. I thought it was a soul item. Oh, well. I'm going to level up my armor the rest of the way. I'm going to purchase... Probably 12 of these, 12 of these. Okay, so all I need left are chunks. And defense is now at 364. Because I also have the ring equipped, so that helps. Oops, I need to unlock the shortcut. Costing play with the scythe, and the moveset is fun, but slow. And sometimes the hitboxes are weird. So many times you thought the attack was connecting, but nope. Artorius is really fun, at least. So when you say the scythe, are you talking about the great scythe? I don't know of any... I Off the top of my head, I don't know of any other scythes in the game, but... I'm going to kindle this bonfire to 20 because it's going to help enormously with Ornstein and Smo. Having those extra heals. times. Oh, I don't have the... Oh, are you kidding me? It The secret right doesn't carry over. Ah. Of all the things to not carry over. All right, that means I'm putting divine blessings on my uh, hot bar. That sucks. Oh, it's you're talking about. Oh, dad, gum it. Talking about Priscilla's drop. All right. At least it's, I, in my opinion, easier to kill Orenstein first, which is what I'm doing this time. So. Now I have humanity at risk, which is just awesome. Well, I 
Base taking hits may or may not be advisable. I need you to be aggressive, dude. If I can get some space. Whoop. you dad gummit did not get to capitalize there I need some separation here Come on. Get away from Thick Boy here. Oh, dang it. I was hoping that he would glide into that hitbox, but. All right. One, one, maybe two more hits. Come on. No! Bad, 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 bad. That was almost really bad. Oh, jeez. Yeah! Oof. Making me earn it. Come on, buddy. Get over here. more hit. Oh, she's making me hit him twice. Dadgummit. Look at that little sliver of health. That's going to cost me an Estus Flask. Oh. Come on. There we go. All right. I did equip my divine blessings for Emergencies. What's up, Robert? How you doing? We all like turtles, man. In this chat, we like turtles. Good to see you, dude. All right. Don't screw this up. It has been a long while since I fought the beefed up Smo. So I'm not, I really don't remember his moves at all. That was good. Oh, that was bad. does so much freaking damage. Holy crap. Oh, geez. No. Oh, dadgummit. Ah. It's funny how hard this is when you're trying to go after a certain one. That was, uh, it was going well until it wasn't. And the problem is now is when I go back in there, I'm going to be going after my souls and my humanity, so I'm probably going to take at least a couple hits just getting to it. If I do get to it before getting killed. And I can't kindle this bonfire, dude. That's the worst part. Uh, 
Also funny how many people ask for this armor highly in Elden Ring. Yeah, man, that sucks. Oh, my, my souls are right here. But Ornstein likes to, likes to open with that move a lot. And he likes to dadgum it. They're going to no hit me. Wow, that was running by him. Be awesome if they took friendly fire. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I can't poise through their attacks. Alright, well, at least avoided the no hit. We'll see if I'm successful here. What? Yeah, I don't know how people do no hit runs through this boss. Okay, that was good. Very good. Awesome. Wow, that was very, that went about as well as I could have hoped. All right, now time for Thick Boy. All right, I'll take that hit. Charge at me. Come on, do an overhead. There we go. I like those. Ah, but I don't like those. Go get a stagger, get away and heal. Ooh, bad, bad. Ooh. That AoE is absurd. Ugh. All right, there we go. Whoop. One more hit. Oh, geez. I spoke too soon, guys. And there we go. Okay. Whew. Second try ain't bad. Hundred fifty thousand souls. That's a lot. May I say it is beyond fantastic to see you back stream. Well, thank you so much, Robert. It's good to be back. Good to see you guys again, man. Thanks for hanging out tonight, everybody. You see my fight against the quadruple king. So Priscilla Scythe makes you bleed when you makes you bleed when you hit something. Wow. So you needed the blood ring, but now guess which ring I couldn't have for this fight. Oof. That sounds rough, man. 
Let me see. I need to check on what I need, what, what I have left to purchase. Really, I think all it is is the boss weapons, which I'm not going to be doing until New Game Plus Plus anyways. Because I've got all the pyromancies. I've got all the miracles. Um, or I've got all the sorceries, rather. I need some miracles. I need the Grave Lord, Lightning. I got Lightning Spear. And I got Karmic Justice. So that, that was really the last thing I needed to buy spell-wise was Karmic Justice and the pyromancies, which I did get. So I can pretty much use everything else to level up. And I, for, I did forget to pick up the sunlight medals in the treasure chest. I need to go back and do that before I warp out of here. Need the Lord Vessel. Come. Oh, chosen undead. I. All right. Can warp between bonfires. Thank God. You're mostly killing yourself during that fight. That sounds horrible. So I need to go back and get the sunlight medals. The man himself is back. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the stream and be silence. Good to see you, dude. Nicely done. Thank you, Brock. Did I rest at that bonfire? I need to make sure I did because it's warpable. None of this counts unless some sort of Wendy's was or is being consumed whilst playing. I sad to say, okay, I don't have any, any proper Wendy's with me, but I do have the hot chili sauces. So I will, since I don't have chili with me proper, I will consume two hot sauce packets just straight up. Just out of commemoration for this, you know, being the first stream in a good while. There's one. Here's number two. I hope this counts. I think it does. It does. It, it definitely counts. All right, here's number two. Hmm. Hmm. Wendy, the, the, the hot chili sauce is stuff of legend, guys. All right, let's see. We're going to... Um, Basically just be leveling up these same stats. I'm off by like a thousand, so I'm going to use a soul item. Uh, let's see. I should have one. Yeah, here we go. Absolute Chad behavior. Oh man, you guys. My only regret is that I don't have chili here, but the the sauce will 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 be will be more than fine <laughs> robert thank you so much for the donation honor <laughs> thank you so much man really appreciate the support dude Oh, man, y'all are awesome. Okay, so I'm going to open up. Well, no, I'm just going to go back up here. I don't need to open up the front door. Oop, I missed. All right, that's inexcusable. You are dead. Thirty nine hundred souls for killing him, though. I think uh, in base new game it's a thousand. That's that's quite a difference. Okay, so yeah, I'm going back here to get the sunlight medals. I should have had more detailed notes. I thought I could just do most of this from memory, but. I mean, I, I am doing everything, but just not in the optimal order. All 
I shall also enjoy the Wendy's hot sauce packet and commemoration. I'm glad I'm not the only one that just has spare Wendy's hot chili sauce packets lying around. Does Taco Bell sauce packets count? Taco Bell hot sauce packets are also very good. I'll allow it. I, I also have been known to eat Taco Bell hot sauce packets by themselves. Okay, so now now I need to go back to Firelink. Yeah, Jeremy says close enough. I'll definitely allow it. The spirit and the enthusiasm are all there. Okay. Black Eye Orb, that's what I needed. Now to go back, kill that SOB to the humanity here. Oh, I can't warp from here though. Dang it. Where's the closest bonfire? I don't have the, ah, it's probably in undead Berg. I don't, I don't have the bonfire. I don't, I don't have the shortcut rather to, um, I don't, I don't have the elevator shortcut. Okay, I've got to get this one. I can run to it pretty quick, though. How much longer are you streaming? I believe Wendy's is still open for DoorDash. Um... It's a dude. I'm, I'll be going for a while. I I would have to say uh, I'd have to I'd have to go with Chili, man. To be honest, because we're gonna have a a clean break between um we're gonna have a clean break between New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus. So. A Wendy's chili break for New Game Plus Plus would be would be perfect. I gotta go back to Anne Orlando so I can kill Lotric, get the Firekeeper soul back, resurrect the Firekeeper, you know, do his whole quest. I think the the ideal thing to do actually is to clear out the room first before you invade him. Spicy chicken nuggets as well. Oh yes, spicy chicken nuggets are very good. With with the uh the sweet and sour sauce. Wendy sweet and sour sauce is it's perfection. But if you're gonna order chili brock, um just do one because I've, I've already eaten dinner and I probably, I probably couldn't stomach more than one right now. Feel the black eye orb quivering. So that's what happens. You use the black eye orb, you invade Lawtrix world, you got to kill him. And I believe you get a souvenir of reprisal for doing so as well. Black Eye Orb. Here we go. Bade the world of the Fire Keeper's Killer. And he has two friends with him too, but you only have to kill him.
Lotric the Guilty. All right, buddy. Come on. Yeah, you're not gonna. You're just gonna stand there. Well, <clears throat> look at you. I like you. Oh, that's that hurts. And I don't think you can use Estus flasks in here either, can you? I'm gonna I'm gonna find out, but I don't think you can. Oh, you have a limited usage. Okay. All right, where's Lotric? Those are his. Oh, he's he's with his lackeys. Oh, he rolled away wisely. Oh, but I got the backstab. How about that? Is he dead? No. Now he's dead. All right, we're done here. Got my souvenir of reprisal. Still trying to kill me, but there we go. Perfect. All right, that went well. So you get another ring of favor protection, five humanity and the fire keeper soul. And then you go back to the, I think it's by the bonfire where um, the princess is, you get his armor. Oh, the spicy nuggets as well. Thank you so much, Robert. Appreciate that, man. So getting a chili and the spicy nuggets. If they ask what kind of sauce, sweet and sour sauce for the nuggets. Uh, it should be up here. Do I have to quit and reload? Maybe. Or is it on the other side? I think it's up here, right? Is this it? Aha! Lotrix armor. Okay, so we got it all. So that's Lotrix side quest. And now that we got the Firekeeper soul from, from avenging him... We can revive the Fire Keeper at Firelink and get that bonfire back. Added the sweet and sour. Oh man! Oh right, yeah, just give me a heads up when it when it gets here because I'm not gonna hear the doorbell. Okay. So that is Lotric's alternate quest. Well, that that is his. Sorry, I just got a thing that OBS disconnected. So y'all may have seen a little blip, but it should be back now. And then I'm going to kill Gwendolyn next. After doing this, after, after going back to the sunlight altar. The instructions, I asked that they knock on the door super, super loud to make sure you could hear it and just to keep pounding on the door until you answer. Yes, Brock, that was exactly what, uh, what I need to happen. And please have them yell and wake my kids up. That would be just perfect. You added to wake the kids up there. Okay, good. Thank you. Where's the guy that closes the gate? Not that I really care, but I'm just going to run and get the bonfire. All right, we're all covered then. Thank you, sir. Oh. I need to go under. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, 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 of course. You can't get to that bonfire unless you go down the bridge. How could I forget 
No poor dad gummit. Freaking rats. Oh geez, they're still following me. Are you all right? Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Don't get hit. Where's my ladder? Here we go. Well, thanks, y'all. Y'all are too kind. Looking forward to my Wendy's. All right. Uh, I'm not going to kill the dragon here. Just going to wait for him to come down. Come on, buddy. for that All right I should I have 10 right yes I do ten sunlight medals great lightning spear and offer soul of great lord Sunlight Spear. There we go. So the only miracle I have left is Gravelord Greatsword Dance, which I'm going to get as soon as I go to the catacombs. Perfect. All right. Um... Yeah, I've got one miracle left, and then the weapons left, and that's it. Back in a bit. Hop on when DoorDash is close. All right, sounds good. I'm going to give my, my wife a heads up that I've got Wendy's coming, so she's not startled by anything. Okay, here we go. Uh, so warp will do, we'll do the catacombs first. So back to Firelink Shrine. I don't remember though, like the quick drop down method though, to get to the bottom, unfortunately. discussed this before but as of today when do y'all think Elder Ring DLC is coming probably I, I I would be shocked if it's more than two years after the game came out now I given that it's taking so long for it to come out I think it's going to be a massive DLC like we're talking probably 20 to 30 hours of content I would think at least with how long it's taken for for it to drop Thanks for that, Mr. Pyromancer. I want this bonfire.
So I, I would think January or February. That's my guess. Rumor has it there's going to be an announcement at the Game Awards. Oh, come on. Have to go. Good night. All right. Thanks for hanging out tonight, Zinners. See you next time, man. Oh, he's still necromancered. I'm not even going to bother killing all of them, but. Ah, dead gun. Oh, I just got parried. Ha! Huh. I did push the switch right, I think. Yeah. I know there's a quicker way down. I just don't remember what it is. I think it's from here, right? Is this the drop down? Yeah, there we go. Gotta be careful, though. Got the bone wheels down here, too. But we also have a bonfire. Oh, but you don't get the bonfire unless you drop down the other way. Yep, that's right. Oh, well. But I do need to get to the Grave Ward Covenant, so I need to go back up a little bit too. Stop spinning. Anytime. Don't they get tired eventually? Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Freaking bone wheels. All right. Well, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna I'm gonna go down there the other way and get the bonfire. Ugh. Stop being annoying, Skellies. Good lord. Oh my gosh. Almost a disaster. Only thing is I got to make sure I don't miss the drop down here because if I die, then I lose those souls and humanity. 
And this drop down is relatively easy to miss. It's a blind drop. Okay, good. Good. Oh, thanks for that. Perfect. The bane of many a player. They killed me in my uh, my first playthrough too. Although it was in the in the painted world that they killed me though. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take these out, or maybe not. Maybe I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be dumb again. The bonfire down here is giving me a false sense of security. Oh gosh, look at that. Look at that. That was almost bad. Oh geez. I mean, it's my fault for being sloppy, but I know I can do this without killing him. And I, I, I hate killing these things. Here we go. Oh, they're still there. Uh, uh. it, he's still getting me even on the ladder. What? What kind of nonsense is that? All right. I guess technically I probably should kill the Titanite demon. Do you need to kill it to get in the coffin? I don't know. Probably better to be safe than sorry, honestly. I'm going to kill him. Jeez. What's up with that? Oh, wow. I did. He jumped forward there. Oh. It's almost bad. Oh, crap. Oh, my gosh. That is what I was afraid of. The chili has arrived. All right, hold on a sec. Need to clean up my desk. All right, I'm going to kill the Titanite demon.
Oh gosh. My stupidity knows no bounds. I had one hit on the guy left. And then he one shot me. That was it. That that was the attack that I know how to dodge. I've dodged it a million times, but uh, didn't dodge it that time. Oh my! Are you kidding me? This is the last thing that I need. Seriously, the last thing that I need. Really? Freaking kidding me? Dead gum it. This skeleton is literally going to get me killed here. Yeah. So new game plus is harder. And the only reason I'm killing this guy is to get the Get back to the Grave Lord Covenant. I'm gonna wait at this ladder to see if any skeletons follow me. I'm not making that mistake again. Oh, it's these guys. The culprits. These better not be respawning. Yep, they are respawning. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, he just died. Yeah, he died. Okay. But he took two. I apologize for the delay. Okay, that's a hit me. It is the attack that one shot me. Most of the time I do a good job of dodging it, but not the one time that it mattered. You had like one HP left.
Picking it, playing it safe here. Oh, barely got him before he jumped. All right. And another tight night catch pole. Yay us. Eyes of death. So you should have more than 10 by now if you've been following along. We got three there in base new game, three in Tomb of the Giants in base game. We bought three from Patches in base game, and then we got three more. So you should have at least 12. You need 10. Okay, while I'm laying in the coffin, I am going to get my Wendy's. I shall return. Success. Y'all are the best. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to talk. This should pop the Miracles trophy. And have the crackers first. You can offer 10. Brings back memories. There we go. So we have the Miracles Trophy. So all we have left, I believe, is one of the endings. And then the weapons. Upper stream has commenced.
One thing I got to ask is, um, is there an option for this stream to watch in 1440p? Indeed, there is. Okay, good to know. Thank you for confirming. The reason why I ask is because, um, YouTube has two different codecs that it uses to encode video and streams. And oftentimes it uses the crappier codec, which, which does have an enormous an enormous impact. Oh no. An enormous impact on video quality. Like a, a very, very noticeable impact on image quality. And um, you can force it to use the better codec if you stream in at least 1440p, which I don't know why that is, but it is the truth. Which one's the real one? Stop being a pain, pinwheel. You're supposed to be easy. There we go. All right, finally got the riot of kindling. I'm gonna get the first bonfire down here. If I had lost a pinwheel, I, I would have stopped the stream immediately. And, and I, 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 yeah, you probably would never see me again. Gonna go back and kill Gwendolyn, who can be a pain, especially on New Game Plus. Hey, Brock, holy crap. Thank you for the donation, man. Hardest boss in the game. If I had died there, dude, that it would have been over. You watch on your phone at 144p? I do sometimes too. When I'm on uh when I'm on uh cellular instead of Wi-Fi. Okay, I need to let the uh, chili, gotta open it up so it can cool down here. But, I can go in and indulge in nuggets. And I am going to equip the crest shield for this fight. Because you do indeed need two souls of Gwendolyn. We'll have to do this fight again. 
Probably one of my least favorite fights in the game, but oh well. So that's what the area looks like lit up. You mean you didn't go back later and, and use a lantern? Spicy nuggets. Legit. Hmm. I'm assuming the Dark Moon Seance ring carries over. It had better. There we go. I'm going to put the magic stone plate ring on as well. I have it. Do I not have it? I guess not. Where, where the, how do I not have the magic stone plate ring? I thought I had it. Hold on. Oh, it's oh, that's only in Dark Souls 3. My bad. You never got a lantern? So you never killed all the necromancers? Well, you you get a lantern in Patch's pit. Like it's 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 a guaranteed drop off of a corpse. So you should absolutely have one. All right. And then halt. You this get the, the sunlight maggot helmet. Lord Gwyn, tarnished its guaranteed drop by the feet of men. And lost the leaf. Art, a true disciple of the dark sun. Cast aside. First time three did not. Yeah, first time my, I I did not have any light source either. And Greg watched me suffer and didn't say a word. Because I actually went down and fought Pinwheel before I got the Lord Vessel. So I had to manually get out of there as well. Now, Brock, I said, I, I remember you saying you did that like first thing in the game. But, um, I did it like right before going to Anne Orlando. So I wasn't like way under leveled. I just couldn't see anything. Dude, he's just straight up spamming that attack. Okay, yeah, rolling through, it's a bad idea. Sounds like what a true print. I mean, it was... Highly amusing to him. Unfortunately, there's no record of this stream anywhere because it was before I ever started doing YouTube. It was long before I started doing YouTube. And so I, I was streaming on Twitch at that time. And so that stream is long gone. You just hide behind the pillars. Not that hard. Yes, I like it when he shoots his arrows when I'm close, because then I can get good hits on him. One more? Ah, oh, I just missed it. Dang it. Yes. Three hits. Perfect.
Again, cooperating with the bow. I love it. Can I get him here? He's gonna need one more hit. All right, no, I didn't, I didn't get that third hit on. That, oh well. Ah, missed him. Ooh, that was close. Come on. All right, one more hit. Yes. All right, this is it. All right, you dead. Goodbye. Okay, I guess we'll do Sif next. All right, chili sauce number one going in. We're going to level up here. 101. So we're going to warp to the Undead Parish and go get Sif. All right, hot sauce packet number two going in. like the trench run for Star Wars? Yeah. Only way less epic and way more annoying. All right, first bite right here. I'm sure the camera gets it. First bite of chili. All right. Mmm. Delicious. Thank you, guys. The best. All right, so we're going to Sif. I'm gonna put my um, Grass Crest Shield back on. Because I think the Abyss Walker ring is the only one that does not, or the Covenant of Artorius, whatever it's called. That's the only ring that does not carry over to New Game Plus. You got to kill Sif again for it. But I need the soul of Sif anyways. Need three of them. Part of me wishes I had the patience to beat the DLC first so I could showcase the alternate cutscene. But there ain't no way I'm beating the DLC here. It is just straight up not needed. So I'm not going to waste my time. Oh, 100% mission accomplished. Thank y'all. Really appreciate it. All right, going to rest here. Should I not make it? Ooh, we got a blooming. Yeah, it was laughable the number of of blood red clumps I was getting on my uh on my main playthrough. I I couldn't believe it. Okay. Uh 
Are they going to chase me all the way through here? Some of them look like they are. Oh, this part. It hurts. I don't look forward to it, but we must. It has to be done. Miyazaki hates us all. It has to be done for the platinum. He is a good boy. You have to be just absolute and utter degenerates and in this loyal pup's life. Absolute human scum we have to be. But we're given no choice. He's limping already. All right, Sif. You were a good boy. You only wanted what was best. But I was left with no choice. Very sad. This bite's for you, Sif. That was this one. This chili. This chili. Whole chili is for Sif. It's the least I could do. The bare minimum that could be done. Guess we'll do new Londo next. DLC just makes this fight harder on the feelings. I mean, the connection to the lore is just, it's outstanding. 
But yes, it makes it more painful. Wendy's chili has been known to contain various performance enhancing ingredients. I feel it coursing through my veins. You know, I should be using power within on every single boss. Really and truly, I should. I'll definitely be using it on four kings. Now we just got to get the, uh, we got to fill up the Lord vessel here. That's what we're doing to close out this playthrough. Oh, come on. Oh, now that I can get through here, we're all good. What's up, cool guy? How you doing, man? Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. What's up? Uh, I am just uh, wrapping up my Dark Souls walkthrough, making sure I thoroughly explain how to get every last achievement in this game. Well, I, yeah, okay. I see how it's going to be. Freaking ghosts. Uh-uh. Come through the walls. Yep, hello. Walked in one of your streams for a long time. It's because I haven't streamed for I I haven't streamed since probably June, maybe early July. Because I've been working on this walkthrough for so long. Yep. Do need to remember to max out a chaos weapon here. I need a red slab for that. Appreciate you stopping by though, man. Hope all is well with you.
Chili is done. Thanks again, y'all. Actually finished the Shears of the Kingdom playthrough not too long ago, and man, was that final boss fight tough. Well, congratulations. So what did you think, man? What's your what's your final uh verdict on Tears of the Kingdom? Just going back here to get the bonfire. That's closest to the boss. And I need to attune power within. Remember on my, my uh, main walkthrough, I still had Transient Curse active when I was trying to cast Power Within and I couldn't cast Power Within and I freaked out. That was good times. Let's see here. I got a free slot now. I can put heal back on or great heal. 24 faith. I've got 24 faith. Okay, gradual HP. Wrath of Gods can't do that. Great magic barrier. I can do that. Homeward, I can do that. Lightning spear. Where did I get lightning spear from? Lightning spear. That's from joining the Warriors of Sunlight. Great lightning spear. Can't do. Sunlight spear. You need 50. Holy crap. Sunlight blade. You need 30. Those don't require any. Lightning spear, uh, I don't care enough. Tears of the Kingdom is game of the year, perhaps maybe even the best game or rather than one of the best games you played. I agree it should be game of the year. Baldur's Gate's gonna give it a run for its money. I think it's gonna be either one of those two. Other Zelda games, specifically Twilight Princess and Majora's Mask, were some of my favorite games ever, and Tears of the Kingdom was still Zelda, but so much better. I would still give Ocarina of Time my number one slot. Tears of the Kingdom is, is a very solid number two, in my opinion. My second favorite Zelda, I would have to say. Rip. Trying to dark hand me. Thanks for that. And again. Wow. This is the wrong door. I don't need to go over here. But I guess I ought to to just get away from everybody. And I'll get the soul item. Why not? I'm gonna get myself in a pickle going for this chunk. 
but oh well. Worth it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Suck my humanity. Thanks for that. Well, I got the chunk. But I do want to get those humanity back, so I'm gonna have to fight all those dark are uh, those dark wraiths. Oh well. I was trying to be be cute, but especially I since I went for that extra chunk, that was that was too much. Trying to do too much there. I need the chunks to, to fully level up my armor, which is why I went for it. Ocarina time is good, but the problem is I played so much I couldn't help but notice the amount of flaws the game had. Oops, wrong way. <clears throat> so what 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 is it about Ocarina that you don't like? Because I think that the the okay, so compared to today's games, like the overworld map design is not up to today's standards. But for what it was in its day, it's very good. The dungeon design is basically perfect in many instances. I mean, there are a couple dungeons that are a little bit meh, but many of the dungeons are immaculately designed. I'll take Ocarina of Time's dungeon design over just about any other game. Having to kill all these dark race. I'm over here. And these drop chunks too. I'm doing this because I need to to get my souls back, because my souls are inevitably going to be like out of reach. They're going to be where that treasure chest was, and I can't get over there unless I kill all these things, lest the same exact thing happen to me again. Oh, crap. I got two of them on me. That's bad. Dad, gum it. All right. Well, now those souls don't matter anymore. So that's twice that I permanently lost my souls. I don't know what happened there. I, I I I got stunned somehow. I don't know. I took two hits in a row, and that was it. But now I can just go straight to the boss, which honestly probably better that way. Definitely not comparing Ocarina of Time to Elder Ring or Bloodborne. Those are different games for different generations of consoles, but I'm even saying through Ocarina of Time, though Ocarina of Time was ahead of its time, it still had flaws. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, definitely not comparing it to those games. I'm just curious. What are the things about it that, uh, that you consider flaws? Just out of curiosity. I can just run past everything and not have to worry about it. I shouldn't have went for that chunk. That was really stupid. Just to clarify, you're talking about the N64 version.
Why did you not use the hidden body spell to go to the boss? Um, I mean the, the, the ring of fog. I just didn't feel like it. All right. I cannot forget to equip this ring. I've done it before. to throw this on and I'm going to use pine resin actually I gotta cast power within first and then use the pine resin okay here we go Uh, did I overshoot it? I sure did. I'm wasting time and health. All right, where are you at? These things are super annoying. Oh wow, that was awesome. That's bad. Boom. I've already got the second one on me now. This is not good. Yeah, this is death. That went poorly. Even with freaking power within and the I just couldn't get a rhythm going all right this could be a trouble spot guys we'll see I've only beat four kings on new game plus once and I don't remember it particular being a problem but it, it might be a problem Camera was not great. The menu took 10 years to open. And for a game where you have to switch items a lot to Water Temple, the menu boot. I, I don't, I mean, maybe I have nostalgia goggles. I haven't played Ocarina of Time in a good while myself, but I don't, I mean, I don't remember there being a delay between pressing start and the menu popping up. I remember it being pretty instantaneous. But yes, in the Water Temple, it is annoying to have to go to the menu all the time to switch your boots on and off and all that stuff. Yes, that is annoying for sure. Water Temple in general is just kind of a miss. It's plat, yeah. I was thinking I'd be, I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking I'd be doing more damage with Power Within on than I was. I can't imagine doing this without Power Within. Enemies under older Zelda games didn't feel like a part of the dungeon. Felt more like an obstacle. Developers forced you. Long live the kings! Yeah. All right. This is I that that was a bad performance. I'm actually a little bit, a little bit worried. Oh come on! Alphos, Lizalphos, I guess waiting. You mean like waiting for the openings to attack? Yeah, the part part of what got me there was that he started off by doing two projectile attacks in a row. So I'll chalk that, at least that part up to bad RNG. But other than that, it was kind of bad. Okay. Um Oops. I was... Didn't mean to drink there. Okay. I only got one resin left, but... I 
I shouldn't really care about these souls because I didn't have very many to begin with because I lost them already. Where are you at? There we go. No projectiles, please. Thank you. Uh, I, I whiffed twice there? Are you... Okay, I keep get, getting staggered. There we go. Our first one down. This is going much better. Where's my third one? Come on. Hello. Dad gummit, I hate this attack. I don't think I don't think it ever goes away unless it hits. And it hits for a lot of freaking damage. Grab. That was the grab. I knew it was the grab, too. time. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. It was just really bad RNG for that first attempt. My contact is freaking out. Ugh. Okay, we're good. I actually did a playthrough with my friend of Ocarina of Time when they're, where he is the one who plays the game and I try to guide him through it. Side note, he knows nothing about Zelda. It was really fun. This is Gwyn's prison. Now, place the Lord Vessel upon the- Actually, I think, let's see, the game came out in 98. Yeah, this is the 25th anniversary of Ocarina of Time. So I'm, I'm going to do a full playthrough in November for sure. For the 25th anniversary. All right, so that is Four Kings. I'm going to do Lost Easily next, which means I got to go back down to Blighttown because I did not activate the bonfire because I wanted to be able to warp out. Put back the rusty iron ring so I can get through Blight Town. Seeing those souls sitting there can be irritating. Think for you in a boss fight? Yes, absolutely. 25 years, my friend. Came out in 1998.
I still do have my gold cartridge day one edition of it that I got on launch day. Oops, wrong way. I need to be going this way. I think I should start buying my grave soon. Yeah, I I do. I, I know I am getting I'm getting older. I mean, for reference, I was in sixth grade when Ocarina of Time came out. And it was very, very highly anticipated. Forgot to ask Greg where he ranked Rise of P compared to the other FromSoft games. Uh, he said that he likes it better than Dark Souls 2, but I think that's the only one. He put it above Mortal Shell and put it above Dark Souls 2, I think is what he said. But, like, that's not a precise ranking, but that is what he said. What about you, Brock? Where would you rank it among the other from soft? Immediately toxic. Golly, these freaking. Wrong way again. Right here. You don't want to offend me, so you'll stay silent on your... No, I want to know your ranking. I mean, it might be completely wrong, but I still want to know it. I won't be offended. I might... I might have to correct you a little bit, but... got clocked right in the face. And I am going to offer up the 30 humanity to skip the demon fire sage and the centipede demon. You stopped trying to get uh, DS3 Platinum regarding online issues. I got it mostly offline. There were some of the... Oh, I'm almost dead here. Oh, that was close. <laughs> um, some of the uh, covenants I did farm via online. Most of them I did not, though. But yes, DS3 is excessive. It's, it's, it's almost unforgivable how much garbage you have to go through just to farm everything that you need for Dark Souls 3. That, that's the most egregious platinum trophy, I think, that I have. It is on, it is over here, right? Here it is. No, I'm not going to kill her again. I'm not going to kill her again, dude. You can trust me. Oh, crap. Dad gummit. Did I just screw it up? Hold on. I was mashing the button. That was stupid of me. That was really stupid of me. I thought it would default to yes, but it doesn't default to yes. If that screws it up for the rest of the playthrough, I'm going to be mad. Oh, dear. Yes. Okay. Whew. It's 
scared me there for a second. Have a good one. Great seeing you streaming again. Thank you so much for hanging out, Brock. Hey, but hey, you gotta give me your ranking. Give me your ranking first. Or do you just refuse? All right, 30. He almost got away. I'm just curious. Okay, so I'm level two, right? Just making sure. Doesn't it, does it say what level you are? I think it does on, on the stat screen. Yes, plus two, perfect. I will put on the flamestone plate ring for ceaseless discharge. Well, first, let me just say that I completely recognize that lies would not have existed without Bloodborne or Sekiro, and in that sense, it can't be better than either of those. However... I'm gonna call it a night. All right, thank you so much for joining, Jeremy. Really appreciate it, man. Oops, wrong way. At this clip, I may not get all the way through. We'll see. Wow. Personally, Elden Ring is the only game that ranks higher for me. Admittedly, Lies isn't as good, but I had so much more fun with Lies than any other, with the exception of Elden Ring being number one. Wow. Okay, Brock, you can go. Yeah. With... Oh, wow. Hmm. Ugh. I thought you had Bloodborne higher than Elden Ring, though. I don't know. That 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 one is hard to stomach, man. That's ooh, better than Bloodborne. Ooh, no. I mean, I haven't played it, but I I guarantee you it will not be better than Bloodborne for me. I mean, it. I I I'll I'll, I'll eat my words if it is, but. Literally a zero percent chance it'll be better better than Bloodborne for me. Zero zero percent chance. That is blasphemy. In my defense, Maximilian Dude said something very similar. Well, Maximilian Dude is full of, you know, kooky opinions. Wow. That is blasphemy, my friend. I can't, I don't know if I can accept that. You're gonna need to, you're gonna need to be re-educated, man. I'm gonna need to send you to the to the gulag. I don't know. Let's give it some time. Let it let it simmer down. See how see how well it withstands the test of time. I mean, it's looking like I'm going to play it based on the poll results, but. You're not capping for lies of P. Nor am I saying it's better than Bloodborne or anything, but else in general. But I don't subscribe to the idea that original ideas can't be capped by others. Oh yeah, I mean that's totally fair. I mean, 
this is probably one of my most unpopular gaming opinions, but I like, this is just, again, personal preference. I like Banjo-Kazooie better than Mario 64. Banjo-Kazooie 100% would never have existed were it not for Mario 64. You'll be re replaying Bloodborne soon and we'll give you a reassessment. Okay, I look forward to that reassessment. Hopefully I do not have to send you to, to the re-education camp, Brock, but, but I, I will eagerly await your reassessment. Wow, I was expecting better than like Demon Souls, maybe even like, of course, Dark Souls 2, maybe even Dark Souls 1, maybe even Dark Souls, th but Bloodborne. Wow, I, I, I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready, Brock. I need to put the ring back on so I can get a chaos ember so I can level up a chaos weapon. I misspoke earlier. Oh, is that ring? No. I do have to fight the boss for that ring. Oh, no. I, yes, I do. Dad gum it. I do have to fight the dad gum. What's his name? Ah, uh, so annoying. Okay, I thought I was going to be clever and skip two bosses, but nope. Nope. Got to get the stoop. Th they take that from you. Man, that sucks. That really, really sucks. Just looking one more time. Um, I mean, I could get it. Maybe. Because I'd hate for that to be the only reason I have to have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get it without. I probably need, I need to equip Flash Sweat. For sure, and I need to put the Gold Hem set on, and the Flame Stone Plate Ring. All those together should work. I was thinking that I, I would still have that ring, but I don't. Flash sweat, flash sweat, where are you? There we go. Need to throw on the gold hem set. Because I really don't want to have to fight those two bosses if I don't have to. For sure. Flame stone plate ring, okay. Perfect. Brock has been removed from chat and has been put in timeout for offensive language. Yeah, I Ugh. I should have just banned you right there. Man, I can't believe it. That makes me not want to play Lies of P. Osama, thank you so much for the for the donation, man. Really appreciate it. Wow, thank you so much. Really appreciate your support, man. I don't want to fight these things either. Oh, I was afraid of that. Oh man, this sucks. 
This really sucks. All right, we're still alive. Run, run. Hopefully the flash sweat still lasts. I wish I still have my Homer bones equipped, but I don't. These things are fast. Yeah, this saves me from having to fight two bosses, so it was worth it. Don't say that. I'd say I, I said I'd replay Bloodborne, didn't I? My favorite game typically leans towards a recent one I played. Time will tell. Okay, fair enough. But we're, we're talking Ali levels of blasphemy here, Brock, so I can't take it lightly. Oh, crap. I'm screwed. But I don't care. All I got to do is come back down here with Homeward Bones and I'll be fine. Restart the game. I could have done that too. Yeah. Oh, well. Put my Homeward Bones back on. Put my real armor back on. So you had the Elite Knight. I could have just quit and reloaded. You're right. I was I was in a state of panic. I wasn't thinking clearly. Anyways, gotta head to bed, but looking forward to your live stream and make sure it make to be a good mod and hide spoilers in chat. Thank you. Yes, please, Brock. Please replay Bloodborne tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get through plus plus tonight, guys. I maybe had, could have done it had I not made like any mistakes. I know I died a couple times and then I forgot to ring the second bell of awakening, blah, 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 blah. It was my own fault. Actually, wait, I needed to be down there. Yeah, see, there's, I'm just not thinking straight. So I am gonna, I, I did get my ember. So I can get my chaos weapon maxed. Actually started a few days ago. You're at gas coin. Bloodborne is easily easy compared to lies, which is kind of fun. Yeah, it sounds like they may have almost even went overboard with making Lies of P difficult, like. But I guess if they, uh, they did tweak some things with difficulty. Because that's the thing, is Dark Souls and Bloodborne, it's difficult. But it's not difficult for difficulty's sake. I feel like that's one area where, where other souls likes try to overcompensate is they're difficult for difficulty's sake. And that's not the philosophy. Dadgummit. Ooh, I almost died there. Difficult for difficulty's sake is not the answer. say it's overboard it's most definitely made for the souls veteran though it forces you to learn the fights and i love that 
Okay, that definitely is a good thing. Learning the fights is a good thing. You can plus kill a Quailana to get Fire Tempest to work, but I, but I bought everything from her. Then you got the trophy. Well, you also get Fire Tempest if you talk to her after killing uh, Bed of Chaos. You get it for free without killing her. But yes, that is another way to get it. When I say overboard, it's most definitely made for the Souls veteran, though. Need to replay Bloodborne myself. Only one. Pl oh, definitely. Yes, you need to replay it. Yeah, I've beat Bloodborne more than any of the other Souls games. Very fair fights, but challenging. All right, got that for Tomb of the Giants. Catch you next time, Brock. Thank you so much, man. Have a good night. On development, what's up? Welcome back, dude. How are you tonight? Hope all is well with you. About to fight your favorite boss. And I did not die to pinwheel. Oh, wow. Okay. Did not know you had that type of sniping power. This might be the last boss that I kill tonight. I might have to wrap this up at a later date. Going to try the bow? No. I am going to do quit and reload. Actually, wait, I got to go down and get the red chunk. I do need that for the chaos weapon. Crap, I forgot to. Okay, well, we're good. Freaking chaos eaters. Okay. I'm gonna throw this on. And this way. And go the wrong way. There we go. Okay, now we're going the right way. Ah, oh, they're falling down the holes. They need the red slab for the for max chaos weapon because you only get one red slab per playthrough. You get three three regular slabs, two blues, two whites, but only one red. Sad day. I think this is the way out, right? I hope it is. Actually, it's the other side, I think. Yep, this is one that has a chaos eater. All the way down here. You can avoid the arms by shooting. So you don't have to... Are you telling me that you don't have to go around to the side at all? Hug the wall and shoot the branches so hit the... Well, the thing is, is, if you hug the wall on one of the sides, you fall down. Like, there's there's one wall that has... It's straight up just the, um... 
the hole that 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 opens up. Oh, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Dad gummit. Yeah, I think Bed of Chaos is going to be it for tonight, and then uh, we'll we'll pick back up. I don't know what day, though. It won't be tomorrow. It won't be Wednesday. Maybe Thursday. Oh, thanks for that, Taurus Demon. Start with the right side, the left arm, and then the right side. Won't put a hole under you. Yeah, I think is if I try to get cute and do something funny, I'm not going to know what I'm doing, and I'm probably going to die more than if I just do it the way that I know how to do it. So yeah, next time we're going to we're gonna wrap up, do Gravelord Nito, which he doesn't take long to get to, and then do Seath, and then Gwen. And then do do the new game plus plus requirements, and then uh, get the weapons. I'll probably end this episode with getting a chaos weapon. Oh, what the buh? Making sure you don't snipe me with lightning again. All right, we're good. But I mean, step one, I got to get to the bed of chaos, which I could have done. I just, you know, insisted on killing the witch. Yeah, new game plus plus, they get even harder. I could have I could have went for that. I don't know why I didn't go for that. That was really stupid of me. Yeah, come on. Are you just gonna throw those over and over and over again? Do fire tempest again. But only while I can get to you. Dad Whoa! Holy crap! No! Dad gum it! Golly, that fire damage. Okay, well, I have flash sweat. I should just use flash sweat. Yeah, NG NG plus seven is the cap. I mean you you will still be thrust into further new game cycles after that, but the the, the upscaling of the enemy difficulty keeps getting uh stops getting higher after plus seven. But you can cycle through as many times as you want. But yes, there is a cap. Okay, thanks for that. That was wonderful. far oh <sighs> thought that was gonna kill me
Yeah, in, in my opinion, New Game Plus and Dark Souls is harder than it is. It's harder than it is in Bloodborne. Harder than it is in Dark Souls 3. Harder than it is in Dark Souls 2. Harder than it is in Elden Ring, for sure. Dark Souls New Game Plus is, is one of the hardest ones, in my opinion. I think she always opens up with Fire Tempest or Chaos Storm or whatever, whatever that one is. Okay, maybe not, but I got to her first that time. Okay, yeah, enough of your BS. That, that was, should not have, no, that's, it, it should not have been that. Try to stream last night, play for five or six hours, but the stream crashed after 2.5 and you didn't. Oh, that sucks, dude. That really sucks. All right. Worst boss in all of Soulsborne, including Elden Ring, including Sekiro. It's the worst of them all. Congratulations, Bed of Chaos. How dare. <laughs> Undevelopment. I hate to break it to you. You are literally the only person I have ever talked to that that has any resemblance of goodwill towards this boss. I could use a fast weapon, but ultimately it doesn't really matter. Ultimately what really matters is getting past this part. I had my shield up there. I don't know what happened. All right. I'll take it. Not a good start. The floor hasn't even opened up yet. Not a good start. Why hasn't the floor opened up? There we go. Whoa. All right, all that can kill me now is Firestorm. Here it goes. Oh, I should have put Flash Sweat on. Oh well, too late, we're going. We're going for it, guys. We're going for it. Yes! No deaths to Bed of Chaos. I also seen people... That, that, that's how you know hit killer is you throw fire bombs. Yes, I don't... The, the aiming on that, I have no idea how to do that. All right, I need to... Let's see how many... 11. I only have two large shards, which means I need to buy more, which means I need to go back to Anne Orlando and buy more from the dude so I can level up a chaos weapon. Warp Chamber of the Princess. Go back to Giant Blacksmith. Very nice. Congrats. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is about as clean as, as, as it can be done. And, and 
I normally die at least once, but anywhere between one and three, maybe as many as five times. So I will take a clean run anytime I can get it. Odd upgrade weapons and get trophies. You, you sync with PSN upgrade and get the, yeah, you can do that. You can save scum for sure to save resources. I mean, people also do that to get the different endings. But you can't do that for the boss soul weapons because you have to have them all in your inventory at the same time. So you do legitimately need three souls of Sif unless you item dupe. Which I think it is possible to item dupe in this game. I've never done it, but I think it is possible. Great boss. Oh, man. You are her one fan. Her one and only fan. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many you need, but I'm going to get 12 just in case. I got 16 greens, which is enough. All right, we got to go visit Vamos. And as I said, this will be the last thing that we do. I'll wrap this up next time and then we'll do New Game Plus Plus as well. Possible to pop 999 of your one soul of a great hero. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. All right, give him the ember. All right, we will do the chaos claymore. Ah, oh, crap. I need to go to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it needs to be plus 10 before we can take it to chaos. So I need to... Oh, I need the large ember. Did I get the large ember? Dadgummit, I need the large ember too. Ah, do I have a plus five or do I have a plus six in anything? Oh, wait, no, that's already magic. Um, I forgot you got to take it to plus 10 before you can. I got to. I mean, it's not that long of a run to get it. Yeah, raw. I don't have anything plus six, do I? Or just straight plus ten. Could, can you make a chaos longbow? I'm going to need it anyways to get... Well, I'm not going to get the boss weapon, so plus plus. Dang it, I am going to need to get the large ember for that then. Dad gum it. Oh well. I already got the key to the depths. Or wait. You get the key to the depths by killing the Capra demon. I have the key to the lower undead bird. which I can warp to um, I can warp to um, the uh, sunlight altar.
Yeah, I do need the large ember. Which to... Okay. I'm going to make sure I have all the plus 10s that I need for boss weapons. Bef God, I don't want to have to get the large ember again. Is it plus five fire to chaos? You might be right. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Let's try that. We're going to try that. What's that? Bit? Aha! Yes, right you are. Thank you so much on development. I I Totally had a brain fart. I thought you could go straight to chaos, but you can't. Okay. So I will get the large shard in the next playthrough. There we go. Chaos weapon. So I'm going to have to get the large shard and new game plus plus to because because to get boss weapons, you need to level them up to plus 10, which you need large ember for. So All right, we're going back to fire link and we're going to call it a night here. Now my brain can forget that. And remember to fold my laundry. Um, so quick trophy check here, guys. So this is the other ending. This is the weapons. We should have everything else. And we do. Okay, perfect. So other ending and weapons. So this will be gotten in plus plus. This will be gotten at the end of new game plus. And then we're home free, guys. All right. So as I said, I'm going to call it a night here. We'll do another stream where we'll pick up all of the remaining stuff we need. Namely, we need one more soul of Gwyn and we need one more soul of Sif. So that should get us exactly where we need to be for the platinum. So anyways... Uh, really appreciate y'all joining today. It was a lot of fun doing this and uh, we'll wrap things up next time as for when the next stream is going to be. I'm not precisely sure, but I'm going to shoot for Thursday. We'll see. We'll see. So anyways, y'all take care and we'll see you then.